Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit Screen Protector for the iPhone 14 Pro. So last year, I actually went ahead and got this for my 13 Pro, and that had been the screen protector I used the whole year until I finally got my 14 Pro, and it was still perfectly on, no bubbling, it never got off, it, the adhesive was super nice, it stayed on the whole time, and I never had any issues with it. I got scratches on the screen protector, but I never got it to crack, even though I dropped my phone a couple times, and so... It was a really nice screen protector, so I went ahead and purchased the same one for my iPhone 14 Pro. Plus, you also do get two in this box, so you get this for $15.99 on Amazon, and again, I will have an Amazon link down below, and you get two screen protectors with this, so it's really nice if you do crack one, then you can go ahead and place it on another, or if you have somebody else that has an iPhone 14 Pro, then you can go ahead and get that for them as well. So let's go ahead and begin. Here we have a classic Spigen box with the Spigen logo up top, and then we have our screen protector, Glass TR Easy Fit. It's the two pack and it's for the iPhone 14 Pro. Easy installation, uh, oleophobic coating, real glass, 9.8 surface hardness. So those really, those don't really mean much as a lot of screen protectors. Uh, just say that 9.8 hardness and then oleophobic coating. The only thing that really matters for me is does it last? And if it does, then it's a great, good screen protector for me. And so with last year's edition of the Glass TR Easy Fit, it lasted me the whole year. And so I believe this version for the 14 Pro will do exactly the same. If I can actually manage to open this box up. I'm having some issues here. Might have to rip it a little. All right. Let's go ahead and get everything out. That is all, that's everything inside of the box. Place that to the side and check out that's some advertising for their charging brick. And so again, we do get two screen protectors and it is very easy to apply. So if you do have any issues with lining it up or whatnot, then this is gonna be the perfect screen protector for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and place one to the side since I'm not gonna use both. And then we also do get some instructions so let's go ahead and actually quickly turn off our phone as we don't want it to turn up, turn the screen on when we're trying to apply it. So let's go ahead and check out what we get. We get this nice uh, scrubber. So this is to push out the air bubbles when you finally do apply the screen protector. Then we also do get this little package right here, which gives us lens and screen cleaning wipe. So we get two of those. And then we also do get one microfiber cloth to dry it out. And we also do get the dust removal stickers and then how to remove bubbles. So this is just something to check out if you do struggle with placing screen protectors. There's a QR code so you can go ahead and scan it and it, it'll probably get you to a video to show you what it does. So again, let's place these to the side. Let's get everything out of the way and check out our instructions. So installation, we use the cleaning wipe, clean it off, and then we use uh, we take off the back film from this right here and the back film is labeled so it says back right there and then what else do we have to do we take out the back film place it on top of the phone and then we press and slide this middle part and then we actually do we have to wait or anything i don't think so we take off the whole sticker and then we take the plastic part off and the screen protector stays on there and then we take the uh, protection film off the screen protector and we use this little tool right here to squeegee out all of the bubbles if there are any so i guess that is it so let's go ahead and do this real quick so let's place this right here and the top part should be labeled i'm guessing the top part is right here where the speaking logo is and it also does say top right there so you probably won't have any issues there so Let's go ahead and get our cleaning wipes first. My room is super dusty. Uh, if you guys do have any ideas why that might be, do you guys have any uh, solutions to that? But my room, it does get super dusty. And so I always have to wipe my desk off or whatnot. And it does get a little annoying. So I might, I might actually get some bubbles or bubbles inside my screen protector if I do get any dust in there, but that is fine. Because when the screen usually turns on, uh, you don't really notice those. So I'm perfectly fine with that. So let's go ahead and open up our wipe, which is pretty large. So you can actually go ahead and clean your phone off while you're at it. If you do want to, let's go ahead and wipe it down. Let's give it some good wipes, get all the oils off. And once we're done with that, 
put that to the side, get our microfiber cloth, and then wipe it down once more to dry it off. All right, just get a couple more wipes on there. And it will be good if you have some decent lighting inside so you can see everything on the display. So let's go ahead and place this down and then let's actually go ahead and use our dust removal stickers right here. So we do get two, uh, three of these. So we get these two little ones and then we get this large one right here. Do not throw away, use to remove dust before installing. So if you didn't know already. So let's not go ahead and touch the screen. Let's go ahead and get all those dust particles out. Let me go ahead and actually bring this closer to me. All right. Now that we've got this done, let's go ahead and place the foam back right here. And just make sure we don't get any dust on there. I hope I don't get any, but if we do again, as I said, it's fine. So let's go to remove the back protection film and then go ahead and align it and press and slide so press and slide right here all right let's just give it a couple seconds let's count to five real quick in my head one two and then once we're done with that we go ahead and take this sticker off so i'll go ahead and rip it from the speaking logo or at least try to oh, remove from here. So, got to read a little. All right. If I can manage to. It says remove from here, but it's not really that easy. All right. And then let's go ahead and place it back down. Pull the sticker off. Boom. And once we pull that off, all we have to do is lift it off I believe let's see press and slide hole sticker and then we just got to lift this off all right and the protection film is already coming off so once we do that there's nothing else we do with this device right here go ahead and place that to the side and as you can see our screen protector is applied and we're gonna go ahead and take the protective film off and once we do that if we see any air bubbles we'll go ahead and just Ouija it off like so Oops, I'm doing the wrong side. Let's try and get it on there as perfect as possible. Alrighty. And boom, that is it. So let's go ahead and get this a nice little wipe. Get everything off of there, make it look perfect. And we are done. So here is our screen protector applied. No air bubbles on there whatsoever. It covers everything, it even covers the lenses. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this phone on real quick and just check if Face ID works perfectly and functions perfectly and then check if the display works perfectly, the touch display. It'll probably work perfectly, but just in case, I wanna go ahead and check. And that is it, as you can see, it only took a couple of minutes and if I was doing this without explaining everything, uh, if I just had this right in front of me, I do have a tripod in front of me so it does get a little harder. This will probably take like two to three minutes, so it's super easy to install, and it just works perfectly. So let's see. Swipes are perfect, it responds to everything, and let's go ahead and turn it off and use Face ID. And so does Face ID work, so no issues there. So, 10 out of 10 screen protector. Uh, I'm probably gonna be rocking this one this whole year, and if it does break, if it manages to break somehow, I do have a second one. And so that is basically it. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps support the channel. And again, see y'all in the next one.